Sophia Loren's bold yet timeless Mediterranean beauty and style is imitated to this day. Sophia Loren introduced a different type of Italian woman in comparison to Anna Magnani, a more glamorous and sensual type of woman who still possesses the earthiness and volatility that Magnani personified. Sophia Loren's beauty exceeds the physical. Her way of living and aura makes her incredibly admired. She had a very tough childhood. She was born in Rome to a single mother who herself was a beauty pageant queen. Her father abandoned the family and this lack of a father figure deeply affected Lauren. She saw her father only the third time in her life on his deathbed. She later said, I hated my father all my life, but in his final days I forgave him for all the suffering he caused us. As you grow older, marry, and have children of your own, you learn and forget. I do not forget easily, but I do forgive. Lauren moved to a small city near Naples with her family and grew up during the Nazi occupation and bombing of World War II. It was a scarce and frightening time, to say the least. But when Lauren entered her teenage years, it was evident that she had the good looks to enter numerous beauty pageants. This resulted in her getting noticed by Carlo Ponti, an up-and-coming Italian film producer, who she would later marry. Lauren, who was already in love with cinema, and with stars like Rita Hayworth, Ingrid Bergman, and Yvonne De Carlo, she took it upon herself to follow Ponti's dream of fashioning her a career in film. Although she refused to fix her nose and lose weight, she knew that Ponti's advice to learn English would make her even more valuable in the film industry. By her late teens, Sophia was now officially known as Sophia Loren, who formerly was Sofia Villani Ciccolone. Lauren's confidence, charm, and sultriness secured her lineup of roles in Italian films, even appearing topless and naked in films like Era Lui C.C. in 1951 and Due Notti con Cleopatra in 53. This seductive and unconfined way of being for a woman was Lauren's signature and it worked for vibrant Italian crowds. This type of role transitioned into Lauren's English-speaking Hollywood debut in the movie Boy on a Dolphin in 1957. She was 23 at that time and by this point was a well-known star in Italy due to her extensive list of films. That same year of 1957 came out The Pride and the Passion where Lauren starred opposite Cary Grant and Frank Sinatra. In fact, Grant, who was in his 50s, wanted to leave his wife to marry Sophia because they had an affair, but Lauren declined and married Carlo Ponti instead. Lauren then made a departure from such racy roles and decided to revamp her star image and lead in her most important film yet. We see as we progress through each Oscars leading lady in this series, is that many share a similar career milestone. It is the fact that once they chose a role quite different to what they did before, that is when they got rewarded. This leap of faith into the unknown would be most valuable to them and eventually would bring them to an Oscar. This was in fact the case for Sophia Loren. In 1960, she starred in the war drama called Two Women. This Italian movie, directed by Vittorio De Sica, was the first to win a major Academy Award for a non-English language performance at the 1962 Academy Awards. This award was for Loren, and although she did not attend, she was very proud and thrilled. She said, I decided that I could not bear the ordeal of sitting in plain view of millions of viewers while my fate was being judged. If I lost, I might faint for disappointment. If I won, I would also very likely faint with joy. I decided it would be better to faint at home. Overall, Sophia won 22 awards for this role in Two Women. The 60s were Lauren's prime years, just as they were for Elizabeth Taylor who won the Oscar the previous year. She continued to make major motion pictures in the US and Europe and won many more awards for films like The Fall of the Roman Empire, 
yesterday, today and tomorrow, and marriage Italian style, to name a few. There are many awards and titles to Sophia Loren's name, and she continues to work on films to this day. Her zest and fire will never diminish, and she says, there is a fountain of youth. It is your mind, your talents, the creativity you bring to your life, and the lives of the people you love. When you learn to tap into the source, you will truly have defeated age. To this day, Sophia's exotic and ultra-feminine image captivates everyone. A woman of many talents who can act, dance, sing, and speak multiple languages, she remains to be one of the most identifiable and beloved actresses for all generations.